Hello, I'm Kay Terreira. And I'm Jane Terreira. And yes, you are seeing double. Welcome to Crowned by Nature, the show that celebrates natural hair whilst inspiring you to live your life like the queen that you are, naturally. In every episode, you'll get to meet an incredible lineup of women with dazzling crowns on their heads and even more dazzling stories to keep you inspired and motivated for success. So, sit back, let your hair down. It's time for Crowned by Nature. Our very first guest is a truly exceptional young woman. She has the magical combination of having a voice for radio and a face for television. She is a media personality par excellence who boldly asks the hard questions on Cappy Talk FM and on her own television show, Ruvenico. She is, of course, the immensely talented Ruvenico Paririnyatwa. Ruvi, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Kay. That's quite an introduction there. <laughs> well, it's all true. Wow, thank you very much. I appreciate it. So first things first, is that your hair? Yes, ma'am. So can I touch it? <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is your response to the can I touch it phenomenon? You know what? Um, from a black person, it's a little bit offensive. I think that when you go on a natural hair journey and people see your hair the way it is, they the first thing they'll be like is how, you know, even your hair, the way it's wrapped and tucked yeah. and, you know, styled. Yeah. People will be like, that's mm, <laughs> true. <laughs> exactly. You know, some people will even go to that extent. I'm like, that's really offensive. It's like me saying, oh, those your boobs, <laughs> you know, like, I sorry. Know. And then can I touch them? You know what I mean? <laughs> so I don't know. I think I, I understand it because it is such a fascinating thing for, especially black Zimbabwean women mm. to go natural and be able mm. to take care of their hair and get it strong and healthy. So I can understand. Okay. Yeah. So, so can you tell us a little bit about why you decided to go natural? I went natural because I had a very inspirational conversation okay. with a family friend, okay. um, Dr. Solomon Guramatunu. Wow. And anybody who is watching who knows him will understand exactly what I'm talking about. He's a man who was simply over lunch um, at their you know, family lunch and we were talking and he said, Ruvenico, mm -hmm. have you ever just stood in front of the mirror in your beauty with what you are without any tails on your head and just appreciated the woman that you are. Wow. And I was like, no, I go to the hair salon, get a weave out and then in the same hour I get another one back in. Mm -hmm. And he just basically talked me through self-appreciation, self-love, natural beauty and he really got into my head to be very honest with you. And uh, when I went home after that, when I did my hair, that hairstyle that I had, I went out to an Econet event actually for the first time with my hair just like that. And it was very short at the time and I got so many compliments people being like wow you know you're rocking your natural hair oh is this you you know mm -hmm. and I just after that not that I swore I'd never put um, weaves in my hair but I just decided to try it out so it's been four years now wow that's yeah, amazing four years and Dr. Gramatini what kind of a doctor is he he's an eye doctor believe it or okay. not he's, an he's one of the very few ophthalmologists we have in the country I think he's the only one if not there's one or two but he's not even a hair anything but he well, just it, it does make sense though yeah. if he's an eye doctor he helps people see better and he helps you see how beautiful your <laughs> natural did. hair is actually there is some depth in that <laughs> you know he opened my eyes yes yeah no definitely so um he was definitely key in that and then i think also just influence i've got a one of my best friends um is also keen on natural hair as well she started transitioning i think a little while before me and i thought she was crazy so i think i just had it around me and then a lot of support of people that are on that journey and it made it a bit easier. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Want to know how I achieved this curly fro? I swear by perm rods. A perm rod set gives you a nice fluffy curly fro. When you look at the natural hair, there's also this debate about natural hair versus weaves. But is it one or the other, you know, and is this debate absolutely necessary? You know what, I think the natural hair movement comes strongly, and we can't take that away, from the feminist types. Feminist women that are very staunch in their Africanness and their beauty and their ethnic, um, you know, orientation. And so to mix the two, we're given the roots of going natural, it doesn't work. Yeah. You're either a naturalista or you're not. Yeah. 
those that want to live the best of both worlds, they can go for it. Mm. I mean, I, I'm very open to that. But for me, especially because I realized that I was inspiring people along mm -hmm. the journey, yes. family as well, just saying, wow, why not natural, you know? Yeah. So I think if you're going to be part of that movement and call yourself naturalista, then I think stay true to it mm -hmm. because there is a deeper meaning in going natural. Mm -hmm. There is a, a self-appreciation to say, ndaka dai ndaka kwana, yes. as opposed to, okay, but then sometimes I'll get a weave because it works, because yeah. klimchato, you know? Yeah. So I think I think we need to we need to be sure and, and define but if you're not going to be full on naturalista and on this side and if you want to toe the line then that's fine too I'm not a judgmental person I think everyone each their own yeah. who's to say I'll never get a weave again yeah, I don't know absolutely. what the future yeah. holds but for now I think if you do one thing do one yes. let it be a movement and yeah. we, we we do it together yes. you know and make it have an impact true yeah. and as women we should support each other exactly acceptance is also part yeah. of it and of course, you are slaying in your career. You are a queen. Wow. <laughs> so do you have any tips for our viewers on how they too can be queen? In their own chosen domain. I think that's exactly it. Your question is the answer. Okay. Find your own chosen domain. Mm -hmm. I, I find that, um, you know, I was just at the UZ now and it's orientation week. Okay. So these two girls came running after me. Ruby, oh, you know, we love you, great. I want to be like you. And I'm like, okay, that's fine, but are you talented in this? Mm. Um, how can I help? I mm. can mentor. Mm. I definitely can. I've got a mentorship program. Mm. Um, but for me, it's about finding that, again, back to how spiritual I can be and how spiritual I am, it is answering to your call. Mm. Everybody has that call. You can go to school to study certain things. You can go study to be an accountant. You can maybe do the accounting job for four years. But at some point, that light is going to dim within you and you're not going to perform to where you're supposed to perform. And I think it is important for all of us. Some people die not knowing their purpose. And for me, that's the biggest tragedy. So I think instead of looking at somebody and saying, that looks great, I think I can do that or I want to do that, be sure that it's for you. You know, before you waste your 10,000 hours doing something that's not part of what you're meant to do on this earth. That's true. You know, so I think there needs to be a lot more in terms of life skills training from a school level, ECD level, Jayo, from when you are in nursery school, mm -hmm. up until that, just self-discovery, to know where your talents really are, where your passions are, where your strengths are. Mm -hmm. So to anybody, you know, don't look at somebody and say, I want to be that. Mm -hmm. And um, if you do find it and you find mentors in that field, then that's great. Because you can't do it alone as well. Wow. Yeah, so... I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> it's all about finding who you are yeah. and just echoing what you said about keeping positive energy around it's you. It's important, Thank especially you. as women. Yes. Yeah. Thank you yeah. so much, Ruby, for your insights. They've been extremely helpful. You're welcome. Thank you, Kay.